Good evening. Okay, so tonight we're going to work on a fun little project. I'm just, I have a couple of fun projects for the next couple of weeks because my time is limited because I have an art show coming up. So I've been uh, framing like crazy and getting my stuff ready. So um, tonight we're going to do what I call radial design. And it's a fun project that I did with kids in classes. And I mean, you can expand on it if you want. And so I think in the, in the supplies that I suggested that you get, is um, I said some circle paper and you can use like a CD to create that circle or, or whatever works for you. They don't have to be perfect. Um, that's just how it ends up. So um, anyway, we're gonna do kind of like, ra ra I call them radial designs, but they're kind of like a Zen tangle or a Zen doodle in a, or a mandala or something. So first of all, and so I brought, Today with me, I brought, I have markers, I have my pencil crayons, I have my Sharpies and my other ones. And so we can play around with it a little bit and see. Um, so I have lots of, I just have all these colored circles and I like using the colored ones just because they're, I don't have a lot of use for them, but also um, it's kind of fun when you add, start adding colors to them they change the color of the, of the circle. So, I mean, you can use white, but I, I like using the colored ones because they're fun. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to make a pattern on it, which is pretty simple. You're just going to draw some sort of a pattern. Now, if you want to be as precise as you can, you can take your circle and fold it in half and fold it in half again just to give yourself like some guidelines so you know sort of where that center is and 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 that kind of thing you need the background so you could do that and then 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 you have at least you know where your center circle is going to be and stuff like that so tonight's just going to be mostly you know we'll be chatting and coloring and here's one that i've colored um which is kind of fun right and i've just added different shapes and things like that they're not perfect and I don't expect them to be. Leslie. And, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, Leslie and uh, <laughs> what anyway. Um, and then once we get to, to this point, I'm going to do something different with them. Okay. And so just be prepared. Okay. Cause it's kind of fun and crazy. So in other words, don't get too attached. Yeah. Don't get too attached. Cause we're going to do something with them. Okay. So yeah, um, I'm going to get Bill to switch the camera and I'm going to start doodling and I'll just leave, I'll leave this one and the one that I colored close by so you can see them. I have a hole punch, so graffiti is always an option for me. Oh, there you go. So I always like starting off with a circle or something in the middle just to sort of ground myself to that center point and... I like using the Sharpie markers because they're really, really bold and, and they just do that thing for me. And then, I, you know, I'm turning my paper, I'm making some shapes and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to start doing things and you just keep building on it and building on it until it becomes something that you are liking or maybe even something you're not liking, but you know, you just keep working at it. So I've really just done a flower. And I'm going pretty fast. So, you know, in our, in our time tonight, you know, you might be able to do a few of them once we get through sort of like the first one then you'll see sort of what, what happens to it. And then you can plan out your next one in a different way. I do like having borders on my stuff. Just works out really well.
So is everybody having a good week? Weather's nice. I'm having a crazy week. Why are you having a crazy week? Because I'm signed up in two other workshops besides yours. And then I got a text from my daughter-in-law saying she's in town and can they come and visit with the grandkids tomorrow and the next day. Oh, boy. And I have to do six paintings in two weeks. Oh, tell you so, that Sharon's a, Sharon's a slave driver, hey? is but I'm really it's good it's really good I'm really learning a lot that's good anyway I'm just doing some oh I think I just messed it up no I didn't okay it's very floral that what I got going on here and messy Okay, so There, there's my base drawing. <laughs> and then I can start working in with the markers or, or whatever I've got here. Um, I do like using markers a lot because they, they just really give you nice coverage. And so I can just go in and just start adding some color to certain spots. And I'm using artist markers, but any markers would work, you know, use them up. Sometimes in my classes, I have markers that are, you know, the, the ones that my kids have had and they're just, they're so old, they're almost dry, but even the dry markers can leave really nice sort of coloring and stuff. Maybe it's a little bit sandy looking because it's, you know, drier or something like that, but they can end up looking really cool, so. These colors, even though they're two different greens, they kind of look the same. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. But I expect you guys are all working. Are you all working? I see all the heads are down. That's good. Everybody's working. So you're not just having to sit there and watch me do mine. This will be something good to put in your sketchbook when we're all said and done. It feels like it's almost done. That pen. So some of the things that I like to do when I'm working on marker with marker, I'm going to just do these ones and then I'm going to start working back in with pencil crayon. I love doing pencil crayon because you can sort of sh do some shading um, with the pencil crayon that can just sort of change the look of, of your drawing. So I'm gonna just have a look at my the crayons. So taking something like a purple, 
I can work back in to these petals and, you know, do some sort of start off dark near the bottom and then just slowly sort of lighten that up as I move towards the center or the tip. You're too fast. <laughs> I am very fast. I'm just trying to get it done so you guys don't have to sit there and... Year of practice. Uh, it's a year of practice, you yeah. said? Yeah. Yeah. Whole year. Whole, a whole year? Just one year? Yeah. Hmm. So I got to tell you, Bill is doing this thing where he uh, is a radio host, I guess, DJ. radio DJ on um, Chestermere Radio. What is that radio called? Rogue. The Rogue. Yeah. So he's doing that and he's quite enjoying it. But, you know, I kept thinking that, you know, I should be his little peanut gallery because he gets to be my peanut gallery in this <laughs> and when he's making his comments I should be in the background talking to him about what he's doing <laughs> oh I know that that's Jody I didn't know you were yeah. there hey, Jody. Um, I just zipped in from my meeting okay so yeah I think it's only fair so anyway he does he does a radio program on Tuesdays and Thursdays from one till three. He plays music. So here I've got, oh my goodness. You can just see that I've started to sort of make a gradation of that purple just on those four petals at this point. It just adds a little more dimension to what I'm doing. And so with pencil crayons, the things that are interesting about pencil crayons is that a lighter color, like a yellow or a white, is a good one to use for helping blend or burnish. And you, it, it, it kind of will blend the colors a little bit, which is kind of interesting. And you can get a nice, smooth sort of blending thing. It does lighten them too, but it just... Makes them look a little bit more blended. So I just did one. Yes, I totally think you should be in the background of Bill's DJ. I just think I should, but. I think you should totally be a commentator. Yeah, I should just, you know, add my little bits. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, I think you'd have some bits to part. Oh. Yeah. There we go, Bill. What did Bill say to that? He's over there sitting there and not saying anything. <laughs> He's like, oh, man. Gang it up on him. That's right. It was my show. Yeah. That's all right. So I got to tell you, I'm, so I'm, I'm doing framing like it. I'm at two in the morning. I'm still working on framing and sorting frames and trying to figure out what, what goes in where and stuff like that. So last night I'm like, okay, well, before I go to bed, I'm just going to finish up these last two. So I have two pieces that I, put into the frames, got the glass all ready and put the backing on and the wire and everything. And I took them upstairs and I set them with all the pieces that I'm taking to the show. Mm -hmm. the wire on one of them upside down. <laughs> it starts me right for doing stuff at two in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> that has a new dimension to abstract. <laughs> it, yeah. Well, you know, I keep telling people that abstract is the most, uh, you know, cost effective art form because you get four paintings in one but you can hang it upside down and just start a new trend. That's cool. That's why art abstract art is so good because you can just turn it and it's a whole different painting. So anyway, 
So alas, I will be redoing that one tonight. You tell them a story about Bruce Head's piece and Mary signed it upside down. Oh yeah, we my mom and I went into Bruce Head's studio, and Bruce is my was my mentor for many years. And we went into his studio and we were looking at his artwork and we found a piece that we really liked. And we said, Oh, we really like this one. And so my mom wanted to buy it. And he says, that's great, but it's upside down. So we well, turned it over yeah. to see which we liked. And we said, well, we like it upside down. And, and we said, if, if, if you sign it the way we like, we'll buy it. So he picked it up and he signed it his way. And then he flipped it over and signed it our way. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hang it either way. That's right. So it's hanging upside down in my parents' house. Mm -hmm. So from the, I don't know if you guys are on Instagram or not. I did actually post some pictures of the um, pieces that I was doing when I started the, uh, (coughs) when Jody and I did our major uh, jelly plate. (coughs) Bless you, Bill. Thank you. Uh, Bless you. you. We did our, uh, our giant jelly plate printing. So I've been working on them pretty steady for the last couple of days. So I might show some of those near the end of today, just to show you guys um, some of the pieces that are finished and they're framed. I just have to do the backings the right way tonight. So I didn't finish any of mine, Karen. Yeah, I've been working pretty steady on them. So and adding little bits and stuff and they're kind of fun. But I do have my some unfinished ones here. You have what? I have some unfinished ones, so yeah. Anyway, I did post some of them on Instagram, but um and I don't know. Did I send Bill, did you post some on Facebook for me? Uh. I think he did. I think so. Oh, on the table. I think I sent him a picture of them all on the table. I I think there were some individual shots. Was there? Yeah. Okay, I'm still trying to go fast because I'm trying to color this so that I can get to the next step for for you guys, but I want to get a little bit more color on this. But I'm going pretty fast. Or is anybody ahead of me and I'm just slow? (laughs) No, no, shaking heads, no. I just don't want you guys to get bored. I think when we're working on our own things, we don't get bored. I'm... It's just your stuff that's boring, Karen. It's just my stuff that's boring. Okay. What did everybody? What did everybody else think of that? Are that's you getting fun. bored? No, I think if people are working on their own, then it's good. If they're just sitting there watching me color, that's not as much fun. <laughs> well, last week watching you two work together, that was fine. Yeah. That would have been fun because there was, you know, we were sort of goofing around together and stuff. So, yeah, you guys had your heads back and we're just working away. (laughs) Yep, here we go. That's how how much how it was pretty much the next day, too. It was like, just keep going with music, with music. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Karen, I think you did some. Well, you did some framing to begin with. And yeah. then, you, then you did prints and then you were working back in while I just kept making more prints because I wanted yeah. to take work back home to work on. Yeah. So I think you was, did, what, about 25 or so? Yeah, or maybe. Yeah. And I, I think I did about 50. Yeah. She was like a printing press. I would. But I, I, you know, I got a lot of work to finish them. Yeah. All right, I'll just keep going. So thanks, Leslie, for saying that. You know, you just don't know what it's like for other people that be watching. 
Well, sometimes when you're working and looking at your own stuff, you're missing what you guys are saying or, you know, what you're doing because I'm not oh, seeing it. Yeah. yeah. Well, mine looks totally different than Karen's. I'm curious what other people are doing. Oh, should we switch to your salary? If you're going to put yours up, oh, I'm, I'm on in the lead. Let's just wait a little bit. Okay. Everybody oh, talk. oh, hey. Look at all that stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's great variety. It is. Yeah. Good start. Spencer, Spencer, yours almost looks like, uh, um, I'm just trying to think, maybe like some um, ind indigenous flags. I, oh, I, yes, that's yes. what's coming coming to mind for me um, i don't i just i don't really come up with nice floral designs so i'm more geometric well mm -hmm. that's okay i like i like what chloe did with the words what words did you include chloe yeah it was lucky i'm doing oh a uh, saint patrick's day one. Oh, oh. Nice. that's fun can you hold yours up again, Chloe? I couldn't see it because I can yeah, only see four people the, at a time. It's the fuzzy background. Oh, I can take. Sorry, you I can take. take it okay, I, I can. I can take the background off. <laughs> I don't know how I do you do it. I, I tried to do it, but I didn't. It'll take me a second. Oh, choose virtual background. Mm -hmm. No. There we go. Oh, very nice. Oh, Lucky. that's cool. Oh, Lucky, hat. Lucky, Lucky. I, I, I like love the, the like hats. The hat. Look at that. The hats are very so cool. creative. Yeah. <laughs> you, got the, you, got, you got the pots it's, of gold the, and the hats oh. and everything. Okay, that's... Wow. What a good idea. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's very fun. Like, it's, it's so fun to watch kids do art, don't you think? Oh, yeah. There's just oh, yeah. different ideas, right? Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, I like the green sparkles, too. I would have never thought of making four hats and a lucky clover. That's clever. <laughs> and four pots of gold. I think I need a little bit more of something. Squeaky pen. I don't know. I'm just trying to get one of those pens that are just about done, but. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what to do next. Seeing as I've just scribbled this all together. 
All right. So once you have some coloring done and it doesn't have to be completed or, or whatever, what I want you to do is remember those folds you did. Now you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut your piece on those folds. So what I want you to do is cut it, first you're gonna cut it in half. And then each one of those halves you're gonna cut in half. So now you have four bits. Now, there's different things you can do with this. I'm probably just gonna put mine in a sketchbook, but you could also have like a piece of card stock. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna play around with the images and arrange them in a different way. Now, if I'm putting them on this card, I'm overlapping them quite a bit. Cool. But then you end up with kind of like this sort of little window. Now, if I'm doing this on my sketchbook, let me just pull my sketchbook in and do. I can do something like this. Where it just makes this nice yeah. little thing. Now, you don't have to do a square. I mean, that would be nice for a card. You could have, you could do like a, a card and say thank you or something on it. But you can also do things where you turn, maybe you turn one of them and change the, oh the sort of the look of it, right? Mm -hmm. Or you turn two of them. Oh, not upside down, silly me. And now all of a sudden you have a Christmas decoration. <laughs> <laughs> right? So you can, yeah, you can do different things with these. It's just taking, you know, something that's kind of cool and turning it into something else. And you know, I mean, you can play around with it. I was wondering if I should try and cut it even more because I've done this a lot, right? So, you, I mean, I quite like that design. I think it's a very beautiful design. And can you imagine doing, you could do a whole set of Christmas cards with, with this thing, just sort of, you know, you could draw a little mm -hmm. line from the top and make it look like a little Christmas ball or something like that. One of those pointy ones that are kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's kind of nice. Isn't that nice? And then, yeah, I mean, so even though, you know, you may have things that look like things on, on your picture, it kind of changes it. It looks a little bit more like stained glass or, or something like that. I quite like that. So I have another one here that I did a long time ago on the card. And then I have another one that's sitting here in pieces that I never finished because it was my example. I think I use this orange paper a lot. So or Karen, I missed the very first part. What yeah. were you using for the black? I use like a Sharpie marker. Like the thicker one, eh? Not yeah, the super thick. Like, yeah, I use medium. like just a regular medium Sharpie marker. Okay, it's thanks. just nice because it, it shows up so nicely, right? And yeah. I mean, I could go back and work 
you know, if you wanted to do something really, really, really detailed, instead of coloring it white right away, I could have used like a fine liner or something and gone in and done like little zantangles and stuff like that. And I've never actually done that, but I was thinking about it, thinking that'd be kind of neat to do something really, really detailed and then turn it and see what it, how it, how it feels. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If it does that sort of interesting thing. And then, I mean, I just have my glue stick, right. I had my glue stick. I probably used it last night at two in the morning. Um, and then, so like for something like this, this, I would like to glue into my, into my book. And then it's just another nice thing in my sketchbook. You know, I could, you know, if you wanted to have like a record of what we did today, you could do two and just leave one as the radial design. And then the other one as the, as the turned design. But you know, if you, if you're doing them in a card, you know, you might make them quite small. You could make them quite small and interesting just to go on the front of a card. Anybody ready to cut? No. <laughs> Do like that one that's i think that's one of my better ones look at that and you see like nice. i wasn't i wasn't sur super careful with my coloring i mean if you look really closely oh if i put my glasses on it's horrible but <laughs> you know it's just getting that idea down and it i just i quite, I quite like that You could use it even to frame something. If you had a picture you wanted to put in the middle and then have a embellished edge around the frame. Mm -hmm. You could have it as a <clears throat> embellished edge of a book if you're making your own books, like for book binding. Embellished edge of a book, yet, yeah. yeah. It, it would have to be a square book, I guess, right? Unless you split it, right? You could even do something like that where you had it just on the corners of a book. Mm -hmm. Gee, I wonder if I have a book around here. <laughs> I think you do. Even like just on the sketchbook, you could. see I have one of my books this is a book this is one of the books I'd love to be able to teach you guys how to do this yeah I don't know how easy it would do be to do online but uh over over a series of nights hey eh? yeah it would have to be <laughs> probably yeah it takes quite Different a while part. yeah and the sewing is is tough, right? You know, I'd, I'd have to really figure out how I can show you the sewing. I might have to send you like instructions on how to do the sewing. So you do something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was actually teaching this class at Michael's and uh, it was quite good. Fun class. It was one class, right? Oh, yeah, you did it all in two hours. Two so hours. Get, break it up for, yeah. for an evening here. It's fun class. You took class. that class, eh, Leslie? Yeah, I made yeah. a bunch of those books too. Lots of fun. Yeah. But it's, it combines two things that I love, sewing and paper. So. <laughs> sewing and paper, yeah. I like it best this way. I guess you could put them just about any, look at that. It's like a... <laughs> Mm 
It's like a vase. Oh, and what did Caitlin yeah. do something really interesting too? She did it one time. She did this. Oh, yeah. So it is just sort of taking those pieces and just moving them around and seeing what you can create. So Karen, yeah. what if you, how does it look if you say you've done two different circles, you cut them up the same and then you um, alternate them in something like what you've just done. I wonder how that would look or, or does it look too weird because it's not the same? Let's, let's see. Let's see. I, I just happened to, you know what? Because if you're alternating, you're going to have all one one way. And all the other ones the other way, right? Oh, yeah. Which is actually kind of cool. It's like a border, right? Yeah. And you have that commonality of the orange paper. Yes, with these right. ones too, because I use the orange paper on both. Well, yeah. you got the same blue that's running a thread through them. Well, no, I guess no, that's... I don't have blue on the other one. Yeah, the other one's got... Green. Maybe the maybe the pink is a little bit, you know, ties in a bit in the yeah. little in the wine. That's very interesting. I like that. Yeah, just you know, playing around with the different things. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk to you about tonight was what we're going to do next week. So because I'm I have my show coming up and my my priority is kind of on that kind of stuff, I'm choosing you know simple things that we can do each week. And seeing as it's so nice outside, and because next week uh, Michaels is having their lowest um, prices of the season, I decided that what I'm going to do with you guys next week is one of my favorite things to do, which is. The painted birdhouses. Oh. So Michael sells these cheap little birdhouses. They're not very expensive. So um, fun. And I, I've done this for years with the girls where we would paint the birdhouses and then put them out on the fence. And I like I put a little hook on the back or whatever. We just hook them there. They're not for the birds, but um, they're for my, I put them in the yard in the summer. So. This one is painted certainly in my painterly way. And uh, then I have, I have a little one here too that I did. So they have these little guys and they're, I remember my dad, we were at Michael's one time and he saw these birdhouses and he saw how cheap they were. And he says, you can't make a birdhouse for that because <laughs> they're really inexpensive. They, they are cheap, but they're, you know, they're whatever wood, but they're kind of fun to paint. So I thought maybe we could paint some birdhouses next week because it is spring sort of, and it feels like spring outside to me anyway. It is, it is, it is here in Niagara the Lake. There you go. So anyway, so if you want to go and get a birdhouse at Michael's, um, the sale starts on Friday. And I don't know if these are going to be on sale or not, but um, you can always use a coupon with them. But yeah, they're kind of fun to do. So and what's the secret with the coupon, Karen? What is the secret with the coupon? It's always on the app? Oh, it's always on the phone. You just have to look it up with your phone. So Yeah, I was there today and I was just before I got in line, I I got it or something. Yeah. I and it gives you 30% off one item. So yeah. it'll come up. What, uh, what section of the store are they in, Karen? Uh there is sort of like a wood section that has a whole bunch. It's near the fine art stuff, but there's a whole bunch of wood stuff like letters. And there's okay. lots of things you can paint. And I know where you're talking. Yeah, there's birdhouses and there's there's even like little um, jewelry chests and, and things like that, too. So if there's something else you'd rather do rather than a birdhouse, you're certainly welcome to grab that. And they're pretty simple to paint. I don't. Yeah, it, I just like painting them. And then I usually I usually do like a, a clear coat over them to make them a little bit shiny and, and last a bit longer. Because you're just using regular acrylic paint with it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Cool. Yeah. So, so 
Anyway, I thought that'd be kind of fun to do. And eventually I want you guys to work. Eventually I want to do some paper mache with you guys. And the first project that I like to do with my paper mache is the shakers. And what you need for that is a stick and um, a light bulb. light bulb, burned out light bulb. So we'll start saving that now, hey? Eh? Yeah. So you're not your next burnt out. Yeah. Watch for those burned out light bulbs. And you know, it's funny. Somebody was at, at the store the other day and they were asking if we sold toilet paper rolls. <laughs> My comment was they come free with a pack of toilet paper. Um, but I, I did suggest that if, because Michael's doesn't sell that, I said, how many do they need? Because I have a whole box of them at home. <laughs> they never, people never take me up on the, you know, the fact that I'm trying to give away stuff. <laughs> like, Who, has that? Who has a whole bunch of toilet paper rolls that they're willing to give away? <laughs> well, I, I did for a long time, but yeah, I've gotten rid of them. I know I, I had, I, there was a little girl, she came in one time, she was looking for sculpting foam that she could sculpt some, she was going to make some puppets. And I said, oh, we don't have that here. I said, but you know what? I have some at home. Here's my card. Why don't you give me a call? You can have the stuff I have. Never called me. <laughs> I was like, oh. when, when you guys did the first one, the one with the glue and the sparklies and the toilet paper rolls, I'd saved like one or two and then I forgot. And so then I had to go and like pull them out of the middle of the <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> We'd have some. Wow. Of that day. But now I'm like, it only takes like a couple of weeks to get like a whole drawer of them. So we <laughs> yes. oh, so That's so funny. Have this so funny. Too. I've never been that desperate. And you have a giant have tube. This giant tube. Yeah, it's a giant tube. It doesn't squish though. It's like <laughs> it's from Dada's shop. So we could do something cool. But with you can this. stream out of it. Okay. Like so I do have Woo! something that we could do with that. Um, you would need some help from mom and dad, but um, where is mine? I don't know where mine is. Um, I was using a solid tube like that to make a um, kind of like a. a Rain stick, was it? Yeah, a rain stick, like oh. a, a, a rain stick, like they have in Australia. Oh, for like a didgeridoo kind of thing? No, well, a didgeridoo is something you blow through. Right. Okay. The rain stick okay. has it's it's like I think um, it's it's a plant that has all kinds of spines inside. Almost looks like um bamboo but it's got spines inside and then you put seeds it goes through yeah so and tell them how you did yours so what i did is i drilled some holes and i stuck skewers in and broke them off sanded them a bit and then i paper mache it nice and then, and then you put what beans or rice in it what i actually put beads beads Be or beans. I think it, I think it's beads that I have in there because I thought they just rolled better. Well, oh, unless he's got a shaker. He's got one of my shakers. Yeah. <laughs> and you probably have some glass in them too. Well, and the shakers my, are the glass. My, uh, the shaker. Because when yeah. you break the bulb, you grab those little pieces of glass, but you've also <laughs> put other things in. Sometimes if I, when I'm breaking the glass, if there's a little hole, I might pop some things in there <laughs> to help it. The but little yeah. bulbs, you know, your standard hundred watt uh, incandescent bulb is yeah. kind of small, doesn't make a lot of noise. So if you can get a bigger bulb, makes a lot better noise. Yeah. Bigger the one that bigger is better. better. Yeah, the yeah. one that Leslie has there is like it's one of those big globe lights that you have in a bathroom or something. Yeah, that's what those are. But then I have like, um, I'm just adding it. I this is my favorite one that sits on my desk. Um, it's very small, but it's a Christmas light. Um, Karen, we can only see the base of it. Oh, there it's it is. It's got really great noise. Whatever you put in it really works well. It's just the glass. 
Wow. But I oh, use so you paper mache it and then you break the glass and then, yeah. be, oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's really cool. So, yeah. So just, you know, I, and quite often with my shakers and I don't have them all down there, they're all upstairs, but I, I cut down, um, the tree in my yard died. So I cut all the branches off and of course I don't waste anything. So I cut up a bunch of those branches and then I, I soaked them and debarked them. And those are what make a lot of my handles. This is not that this is a, I think this is a handle off one of those, you know, those uh, brushes that you get with a foam on them. Oh yeah. That's the handle of a foam brush. I probably broke it off. And Mine has a mixture of bare bark and a little bit of the exterior bark, like stripped of the bark and otherwise. Yeah. And that's what I was teaching you in the class when we did that, Leslie. We were, I was showing you how to paint, but also show some beauty of the wood there. So, so anyway, and actually the shaker that you have, Leslie, that, that big one that makes so much noise, it's two bulbs put together. Yeah, because the handle looks like a bulb too. Hey? The, the handle is one of these Christmas bulbs. <laughs> Leslie, Leslie, you're muted. You're muted. Very good to know. Yeah, you can tell that now that there's yeah. one bulb. There's the other. Yeah. I actually yeah. bought this for my husband because I thought it was so fun. Yeah. <laughs> so so anyway, have... I do want to do this project with you guys. It's going to take a couple of, of um, sessions though, because there's drying time and stuff for the paper mache and the paper mache is horribly messy, but you know, if you have newsprint or um, newspapers, okay, but it has words and stuff. So you have to get your, your, um, you have to get your paint nice and thick so you don't see the words through unless you want that to show. So could you, could you uh, just gesso it before you paint it? Yes. Yes, you could actually, actually, I usually do anyway, because I like the I like the pureness of the colors. So yeah. Anyway, this is my maybe, maybe you could do a cross between the, the book binding and the paper mache where you know, you start something and then you shift to a project and then the following week you follow up again on the book binding and then a little more of the paper mache, maybe do it over three <laughs> weeks or something. Yeah. But I think the paper mache, I mean, we'll be sitting here putting paper mache on for the, probably the whole hour. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then the next week it will be dry. So then you could and pa you're paint and it. Then, oh, yeah. Yeah, and then we would be able to paint it. Right. And then once it's, or we'll, we would break it probably. The first week we would paper mache. The second week we would break it and probably do more paper mache on it. So we might have to have a little project to do in between. Yeah. But anyway, so scrounge okay. your, your junk for me. <laughs> if you're in Calgary and you need burned out light bulbs, <laughs> I have a bucket of them. <laughs> So is it, was it just, it was just burnt out light bulbs and something for a handle? Yeah. Oh, like paper. Paper handle. Do yeah. you have, do you have any big bulbs in your store, your stash? Probably. If you do, I might need to swing by and get one. Okay. I probably do. I have, uh, I have a whole bucket of things so that I, I'm probably, I'm pretty sure I have those too. It's hard with the new light bulbs though, because they don't break as easy because they're plastic, right? So <laughs> you have to get the old fashioned ones. I didn't know that. Well, yeah, because we've got some of those. What are those ones? LEDs. The LED, LEDs, right? Yeah. They're not the same. So if you really want to go crazy, Les, find an old high school with an old style gym yeah. and mm -hmm. get the bulbs that they hang from the ceiling. Wow. That would be quite something. I actually have a giant bulb. I should, I, TV? No, it's from it's from a photography lamp or something. I've had it oh, for yeah. four years. It's been sitting up in my hallway, and I was. It's, it's so beautiful. No, you haven't seen it, Jody. It's in a box. I've never even opened it, and and oh. um, I I had it in the hallway the other. 
couple of weeks ago and I'm like, oh, I should just get rid of this thing. I just like, it's just sitting here. I'm not doing anything with it. Okay. So I haven't quite got rid of it yet, but maybe, maybe I'll paper mache it and just get it done. No. Chloe did another one that she wants to show. Okay. Let's get to the, let's do the gallery so I can see what everybody's got. Okay. Bill's coming. When are you going to learn to do this on your own? I don't know. I just like <laughs> to come and do it. It's just easier for me if you do it. Molly, can we see yours? Just a minute. I'm just trying to find uh, remove pin. Yeah. Right there. Oh, fine. Right. You use your baby picture. Oh, oh. oh. That's really sweet. That is nice wonderful. Job. How cute. Yeah. That okay. is cute. So you just made it into like a scrapbook page almost. Yeah. That's a great idea. That's very That's nice. wonderful. That's really sweet. Very nice. Very cool. I like the yin and yang too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very nice. All right, who else has something to show? I'm still coloring. <gasps> oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, Leslie. Oh, that looks Pretty. good. Oh, gorgeous. Very yeah, nice. Okay. Nice modulation. Yeah. yeah. All right, who else has got something? I do. Oh, you do? I you glued oh. one. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. I've yeah. got another one I'm working on. Perfect. You have. You know, the one. Karen's speed. The one that you've glued, Elizabeth, looks almost like a, I'm thinking of like William Morris wallpaper. Yeah. All yeah. That kind of, oh. <laughs> those kind of tones. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I love the, love the design that's emerging on that yellow one. It's really neat. Hmm. Yeah, they're kind of fun. I, I, I'm actually enjoying doing them, you know, uh, more than I thought I would. I mean, uh, <laughs> not that I thought it wouldn't be fun, but yeah. I'm, I'm actually enjoying them quite a bit. Yeah. You know, I used to do this kind of thing when I was about 13 or 14. And do you remember when that velvet doodle art was the thing to oh, do? Yeah. Well, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't afford those. So I would make my own. Yeah. And that's what I would do. I take a big piece of poster sized paper my dad was an engineer, so he always had old blueprints. And I would draw these big mandalas on the back of these blueprints and make whole posters of this oh, and wow. color it all in, you know? Oh, that's very cool. So, yeah, this is like, this is like Taking my you back. art. That is yeah. in miniature. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in miniature. <laughs> all right, Spencer, what do you got? Oh! <gasps> Wow. That oh, looks that looks cool. awesome. Yeah. The, well, that's that's very I wasn't sure what to do, but I decided to cut it up and give it a whirl. Oh, oh it's that. really good. That's very cool. And I like the background you, he's got on that, eh? You know, that just really pops all those other colors, colors you got yeah. going on. Yeah. Uh, I bought Water. these cardstock for no tans, and so I just had it, so. Oh, that's very cool. Okay. That's how it starts. You yeah. buy it for one thing, suddenly you're using it for 18. That's right. Okay, what <laughs> do you got? Me? Yeah. Well, I came, I, I came to it late, so I didn't, I was behind you guys, so I all I did was just kind of did more work on my cards that I didn't. <laughs> okay, sorry. Oh, cool. Okay. I, I'm sorry, guys, but like, I, there was no way I was going to catch up. Really? Okay, no. I'm just going to grab really quickly. Well, you'll have to do show and tell next week then, Jody. All right. I'll have to catch up. Yeah. Four hours I'll of homework. It, I'll add it to my list of artistic endeavors this week. Anyway, I'm just grabbing two of these pieces. I don't know which ones I got. Okay. I just grabbed a oh, you're, you're showing your pieces that you finished, Karen? Yeah, just two of them. Okay. So these ones are framed. I'm just doing the backings for them. So... Oh, fun. There's one. Sorry, that's kind of glary. Yeah, a lot of reflection. Yeah. Very fun. But there's one. And then this is one of the darker ones, but it's it's quite good, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, that shows and up. Jack right. likes it, too. Hi, Jack. Were these were your gel prints, jelly prints? Yeah. So I went back. I've been working back into them with um, more paint and 
bits and pieces of paper and stuff and sort of doing a collage with them. So yeah, getting ready for that sale. Really, Jack? Can I can I show and tell a painting I did this week? Yeah, I want to see. Oh. Sure. We're working on on a color unit. So this is uh, my wow. analogous color painting. Lovely. Wow. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. good. That's, That's wow. a beach on Vancouver Island. Are, mm -hmm. are you are you here in Calgary and you're are you taking a virtual class? Yeah, yeah I am in Calgary and uh, yeah, it's um, it's a, an artist network that I joined in January and it, it only comes open once a year for people to join, okay. but it's, it's been really, really good. That's good. What's it called? It's called 4C Artists Network and it's Sharon Williams that heads it up. Sharon Williams will be showing with me on the weekend. Yeah, the name sounds familiar. So I'm sure I've seen her stuff. Yeah, she does. She does lots of shows. She's like a painting machine. I don't know how she does everything she does, honestly. That's great. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to keep it short tonight because guess what? I got to do more framing. <laughs> so. Good luck with your show, Karen. Yeah, I'm hoping yeah. it's a good one. So. so is it this weekend, Karen? No, it's next weekend. The following weekend. It's the second and third. And it's at Crescent it's at Heights? Crescent Heights Community Center. So, yes, yeah, it makes for a nice sort of... Is it where Calix used to be? Yes. Was it at Crescent Heights? Okay. Yeah. So we, when we took over Calix's space, when they closed. Ah, so, okay. We don't want to lose the venue. So it's a bunch of artists who have shown with Calix. That's and, great. Is yeah. it... Is Darren like, going to be there? Yes. Oh, I always loved his work. Yeah, he does really beautiful landscapes. Well, thank you for the class tonight, Karen. All right. Well, you guys keep keep doodling and stuff and uh, post things that you've done, and we'll put them on the site and just keep going. Okay, right. you know, try, try not to hang any more <laughs> things <laughs> upside down. Oh, my God. Uh, aye, aye. Aye, aye. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys take care. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah.